What's up guys, it's Weston here. So today I'm responding to a suggestion by one of my subscribers. So thank you to Rohit for the suggestion. And he wanted to see some 4K footage being edited using the Ryzen 7 1700. So I've gone ahead and put this together for him and also for anyone else that's interested. So if you know some creators the edit 4k video and they're a bit unsure between AMD and Intel which way they should go then if you could share the video with them that would be awesome it'd go a long way to help me out and it might help them out as well so anyway I'm gonna just run through a quick few things before I show you the actual footage of me editing so like I said this is the 7 1700 running at stock speed now if I was uh, overclocking then you'd probably get a different experience and it'd be a little bit smoother but I'm just keeping mine stock for now also, if you want to see the system that this came from, then it will be in the cards and in the description, so you can check that out if you want to. And also, what can affect the results is I'm using NVIDIA's Shadow Play. Now, that does take up a few of the resources from the system, so yeah, keep that in mind. Also, to know the software I'm using isn't fantastic, it's Premiere Elements 14. It's not amazing, it's not well kept up to date, it's not well optimised. So if you're using something like Premiere Pro or Sony Vegas that's better optimised and better up to date, then again, your experience will probably be different to mine and probably even better than my experience on this. But anyway, here is the footage of me editing some 4K, but just keep in mind that this is much smoother in person than it is what you're going to see. So yeah, here is the footage right now. and the other two are used for noise cancelling. You also have a volume rocker which works well, it feels nice. This is a Good conversation. And the other two are used for noise cancelling. You also but I was genuinely surprised. So these are said to block out up to 94% of background noise and I would say it's good, but it's not that good. It's good, but it's not that good. So yes, they do work into a certain but still pretty impressive. The mint are also on the cooler side, meaning the but still pretty impressive. The mint are also on the cooler side, meaning these work well with more chill genres and stuff like R&B. Vocals are great,
This is a Chucky Beat production. strong, they're clear, they're easy to distinguish from the rest of the sound and tonal quality is nice and natural too so they've not got that robot And there you have it guys, that is the editing sample. Now again, keep in mind that you've probably seen it and it might have looked a little bit choppy, but yes, it is much smoother in person and it is actually better than Intel, in my opinion, for editing 4K footage. I've used both, I've used the 7700K and I've used this and the Ryzen is so much better. So yeah, if you're looking for a good CPU for content creation, then the 1700 from Ryzen is better. Obviously, if you can get something like the 1800X, that'd be even better. Or if you want to spend a little bit less, then the 1600X is near as damn it as good as the 1700 for about 50 or 66. 50 or 66, <laughs> about 50 to 60 pound less than the 1700. So that'll save you a bit of money there as well. So anyway, that is pretty much it. I hope you found this useful. If you did, then any shares would be appreciated. And if you've not subscribed, that would be great. I've got loads of other content coming soon. I've got some more PC stuff, some more consumer stuff. Uh, the second part of my unboxing series and tons of other content as well. So yeah, again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all on the very next one.